Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Schnellis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about the skin, skin creases, cleavage lines of the skin, as well as skin appendages, such as hair, nails, sweat glands, sebaceous glands. Today, let's talk about the layer that's under the skin, aka the fascia. Here is a sample of the topic that you will find in my anatomy playlist. These are the functions of the skin as we talked about them before, so please pause and review. From superficial to the deep, on top we have the epidermis, above the dermis, which is followed by the dermis, and derma means skin. Hypodermis is under the skin. Hypodermis is the same as superficial fascia. Because we have two types of fascia, superficial fascia, which is more superficial, and deep fascia, which is deeper. The epidermis has five layers. Then we have the basement membrane, which is the dermoepidermal junction. Then we have the dermis, followed by the hypodermis, which is connective tissue. And this is the same as superficial fascia or subcutaneous tissue. Who makes the cleavage lines of the skin? The dermis. And when the dermis is attached strongly to deeper structure, it forms skin creases, which include your fingerprints. Skin color is determined by three pigments. The skin appendages includes hair, nails, sweat glands, and sebaceous glands. Most of the sweat glands are in the dermis. I'm talking about the coil part. The duct will extend to the epidermis until it opens onto the surface of the skin. By the way, most sweat glands are like this epidermis and dermis but some sweat glands will extend deeper even to the hypodermis today's topic is fascia which is the layer under the skin we have two types superficial fascia and deep fascia now let's look at this from gray's anatomy 41st edition chapter 2 okay gray's anatomy tell us what is fascia Generic term applied to sheaths, sheets or other dissectable masses of connective tissue that are large enough to be visible to the unaided eye. They did not want to say naked eye because they are professionals. The terms superficial fascia and deep fascia are no longer included in the terminologica anatomica, although they remain in common usage in the English language. Tilla subcutanea, hypodermis, and subcutaneous tissue are the recommended synonymous terms that replace superficial fascia. Close quote. Yet the same freaking book in chapters 26, 29, 30, 43 and others will talk about superficial fascia and deep fascia as if they did not say this in chapter 2. The late Dr. Henry Gray, the author of Gray's Anatomy, is probably rolling in his grave right now. Now you can call me a doofus, but can someone tell me how is this specific change in terminology helping anybody? Is it helping patients? Is it helping doctors? Is it helping surgeons? Is it helping nurses? Is it helping anyone? So from superficial to deep, skin followed by fascia. The skin is epidermis and dermis. The fascia is superficial and deep. Superficial fascia is synonymous with hypodermis, tilla subcutanea or subcutaneous tissue. Then you have the deep fascia, which includes the fascia that surround muscles, fascia musculorum, and the fascia that invests viscera, fascia visceralis. In old books, fascia visceralis was known as internal fascia, which is even deeper to the deep fascia. If you remember my video on the anatomy of the lower limbs, quick review, we talked about the thigh compartments. We said that there is the anterior compartment of the thigh, posterior compartment of the thigh, and medial compartment of the thigh. Now, who divided them into these compartments? The answer is fibrous septae. Who made them? Well, they are part of the fascia. Let's take it to the clinic. Fasciitis is inflammation of the fascia. This is soft tissue infection. It can be very severe, by the way. If it extends deeper and deeper into your body, the bacteria can enter your blood. Hashtag bacteremia. A septic focus can go somewhere else. Hashtag septicemia and pyemia. Before you know it, you can get a problem in the valves of your heart, endocarditis, inflammation in your brain tissue, encephalitis. A collection of pus in your brain, cerebral abscess, etc, etc, etc. Next, since fascia makes compartments in the extremities, such as the compartments of your thigh, the compartments of your lower leg, the compartments of your arm, 
If the pressure rises too much in these compartments, you get compartment syndrome. What do you think the surgical treatment is? Break the fascia apart. Cut it. Fasciotomy. Otomy is to cut. Fascio is the fascia. You should never forget this. Tomy. Who's Tomy? What is otomy? Otomy is to cut. That's why we call it anatomy. Ana means up. Tomy means to cut. So anatomy literally means to cut you up. What's the name of the device that pathologists use to cut the tissue specimen into thin slices? Microtome. Micro means small. Tome means to cut. Cut me into small slices. See, medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. We have many compartment syndromes in the body. There is limb compartment syndrome. There is abdominal compartment syndrome. And there is orbital compartment syndrome. Let's talk about limb compartment syndrome. The pressure is rising in the compartment of my limb. Why is this? Could be because of reperfusion, could be because of major surgery, could be because of crushing injury to the limb or a bad bone fracture. Regardless of the cause, the pressure will rise, compressing the blood supply, decreasing blood flow, causing ischemia. Isk means low, emia means blood. There is decreased blood supply to the tissue. The tissue will suffer ischemia and will be dead. Hashtag necrosis. The patient will complain of the following symptoms. Pain that is out of proportion to the injury. If I passively stretch or extend the patient's arm, ah, it hurts severely. Tingling, numbness, pins and needles. Paresthesia. The patient cannot move the arm. Paralysis. Sometimes I can even feel no pulse because the pressure destroyed the vessel. Pulselessness. The limb is very tense and swollen treated with emergent fasciotomy. If you want to learn about abdominal compartment syndrome and orbital compartment syndrome, download my surgery high yields course on my website medicosisperfectionetics.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.